Hey guys, my name is Alexi Catlett, and I'm here to do a deck profile with um, Shunping. That's how you say it, right? Yep. Shunping? Yes, <laughs> Shunping, yeah. Shunping Shun Shun Zhu. Um, and uh, he top 30, you, did you top 32? Well, I, did, I, I, I lost the final round and uh, bubbled out before the top 32. Oh, so, okay, so you were, you were close. Yeah, but, I was close, yeah, I was close. close. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna go over that and um, ask a ask have a few questions to ask you about your deck and everything. Mm -hmm. um, so let's just go ahead and jump into it. Okay, so I guess uh, yeah, I started uh, X one for day one after the two run by, and uh, lost to a striker in the like early beginning of the day one, and the day two uh, I lost the first round and the final round. Uh, first round was lost to a Shadow Invoke. Uh, the first two losses was really uh, not avoidable. It, my opponent just drew better. And uh, the third loss, the final run, I bubbled up, lost to a Agnister because I kind of had to rush at the end of the match, game three, uh, due to time, and kind of misplayed a little bit. But uh, overall, I think it's a, it's a good event. I mean, I, I enjoyed it yeah. uh, with my Tritron deck. Okay, what, what is it? What, uh, what deck? Tritron. Dry time, dry time. Dry time, okay, dry time. Yeah, okay. yeah, so I guess uh, let me just uh, start the deck. It's a dry time deck. I play uh, Draconets and uh, Benton Ultimus. Okay. Uh, I didn't choose to play Natasha because I think that card is uh, very like useless. Okay. Uh, no, I mean, not Natasha. I didn't play Ida Tank because I think that card is very useless. I do play Natasha, but it's not in the main. It's in my side, as you see over there. Uh, I barely use the second effect, and I mainly only use the first effect for time to gain my points uh, when it's getting too close to the end of the game. So that's uh, the lineup for just the ritual monster in my main. Okay. And then for the actual Dreadtron monster, play 3 Alpha, 3 Zeta, 2 Gamma, and a Delta. I think yeah, this is uh the these dry trolls are pretty much the standard lineup. There's uh nothing particularly special about it. Okay. So yeah. Yeah, I think nine is uh okay is enough for me. Okay. And then for the fairies, uh there's three diviner, three orange light, and two Ava. Okay. Um this is also just like the fairy lineup is also just standard. Um Pretty much self-explanatory. All the drivers playing the same thing. So yeah. Uh, then the things that's different in my deck. First thing is the size. This is like uh, I'm. I was told by my OCG friends like there are some people uh, trying this out, and I was like, that sounds like a good idea. So I just uh, tried it here, and it worked pretty well. Really? I was uh, yeah, it was it was working pretty well. Uh, I wasn't I wasn't the only one playing this in the tournament because I actually faced someone who used the same strategy against me. It just oh, but, but I know this, so I uh, perfectly countered it by the cards I drew. So, uh, but yeah, but I was definitely not the only one playing it. But I think I'm the one that played like that ended with the best result with the card in my deck. That was the strategy I played. Nice. So the way I use it is like size is also a life fairy, so it's searchable of Ben Ten. And whenever you have access to Diviner, yeah. that's a tuner. So um, you go Diviner, for example, it got like Imperm, so you cannot use it for Beatrice material. You go link the Diviner into Fiber yeah. and uh, use resum the Ben 10, should be Ben 10 search your size. And it was like a Fiber plus size board. During your opponent's turn, you can go use Fiber, second effect, tag out, summon Wonder Magician. One of the magician being a single tuner on summon destroy a spell trap, so you pop your own size and size will trigger summon and lock your opponent for a turn. Oh, that's nice. like a yeah. yeah, that's like a very tricky way to um play into hand traps, like for example, Imperm on the Diviner. And um size in this current format is like good against almost every single deck going when you go first. Nice. The only thing that's like actually bad is like just only mirror match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Nice, okay. Mm, so that's like that's like the special part about um, the size in the deck. Uh, I mean, worst case, it's a life fairy, so it can be used as cost for like either Ultimus or Ava or Diviner. I mean, not Diviner, Orange. So yeah, that's it. Then the last six part uh, for monsters, I actually played some number of hand traps. There is 
Yeah, two lines here, two ash, two draw. Um, I have something in my extra deck that takes a lot of the spaces, so I couldn't even, I don't have space to side any of those. I thought about playing like just two play sets of either, either two, but I ended up choosing like if I go only size and, I mean, uh, Lancia and draw, yeah. I do have like Lancia for Tri Brigade, draw for Mirror Match, but I don't have any hint traps for like the lower tiers, such as like, um, uh, Prank Gets, Sada Striker, those kind of decks. Like these two, these cards are pretty much dead against them. Like at least like draw is probably not dead, but it's definitely not useful. But if I go Lancia and Ash, I like have only Ash for Mirror Match going game one, and I just don't feel good about it. But if I only play um, Ash and Droll, I have nothing really effective against tri game one. And also Lancia being a live fairy, it's also like um, sometimes orange, orange um, cost. So I ended up just going like, I, mathematically I only have six spots at most. So I ended up just going two to two. two. That will be like the better uh, ratio. Yeah. For me to to play the tournament. Yeah, that makes sense. And I, I'm sure there was a lot of uh, tri brigade decks. Yeah, there's like there's I expected a lot of tri brigade, a lot of drytron, and the rest be like a lot of uh, Sala Sala striker prank kids, like those combined. So yeah. I think this just has the best coverage for the ratio I played. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. okay. Then those are the monsters. Spells are pretty much standard. Um, the ritual spell, three of the Nova, one, uh, two emergency, and the foolish burial. Uh, these are the additional Drytron cards in my deck, so I total have like fifteen Drytrons, um, which I think it's good. I really love foolish. Foolish, like I do send a lot of like non Drytrons when I don't need it. I've sent like Ava. I've even sent Draconets. And um, that definitely happened. Uh, two ritual spell, I, I, they're just combos. Like you kind of need two ritual spell. I actually lost a game because I uh, sided out like the the second ritual spell going second, which um, like I don't know if I'm gonna do it in the future. But yeah. I don't think uh, I don't know if I will still win that game if I still have it. But yeah, I think two ritual is fine. And then. I don't play the field spell because the field spell is just another copy of Nova. Where I actually hate Nova because I keep drawing a pair of this, and then just absolutely useless. Oh yeah, yeah. I can, yeah. I can see that. Yeah, and the field spell is just another copy of Nova uh, usually. Or I when, I when I did play field spell before, I will open Nova ritual plus the field spell, and the field spell is just still dead. <laughs> so I know just completely cutting the field spell and just um, have emergency and Nova. Um, I kind of really want to cut a Nova just so I will draw the pair of Nova less often, but I don't think it's possible for for the deck. And Emergency Two is enough. Same reason. I've I've already having issue drawing a pair of Nova. I'm not drawing like a. I'm not playing three Emergency to draw even also draw like a pair of Emergency. <laughs> yeah. Then in instant fusion, a call by for um, anti hand traps, pretty self explanatory. Three pods. I think that's the, like one of the best card in the whole deck. Because um, whenever I open pot, it just um, if I have the full combo, I can just pop for like uh, try to hit the orange if I already have the fairy, or I can pop for the fairy if I already have orange, or if I just cannot combo, I will pop for the for the for the combo piece. And there's like enough things for you to even banish like six going first. And because if you, if your full combo is not was not interrupted. You win the game and it doesn't matter what left in the extra deck. So I think three is fine. I'd rather brick with like two pods instead of just breaking with like two novas because that least pod get whatever I need. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And uh, also, yeah, after siding, I also dig for side cards. Okay. okay. Mm. Yeah, so that's the main deck, 40 cards. I uh, don't think I would change anything besides maybe the third nova, but I have absolutely no idea if I made a change, what it could be. So I think it would just be like this right now, at least. Okay. Right, that will be the main deck. Okay. Extra deck, I play, actually it's pretty much uh, standard, I play two Mi Beta, Beatrice, Nightingale, and the Zeus. Okay. Uh, I think a lot of people cut Nightingale, just keep the Dom nerd. I, uh, I actually like Nightingale a lot. I actually won with Nightingale quite a bit. So I don't think, well, because like the fiber and the wonder you see earlier, I don't really have space for Donard. Yeah. So I think this is fine. 
and wonder uh wonder as i said earlier i would just put fiber here as the package and uh arclay and test these three are the targets for diviner okay. uh there's actually a tricky thing where even if the dry turn that full combo that you don't guarantee a follow-up next turn if you only play one arclay because the first one's always been used to full combo and next turn the diviner normal summon cannot mill another arclay and won't be able to grab another ritual monster to turn on all the dry trons in the graveyard and if you full combo the dry trump deck and still rely on top deck of dry trump to kill your opponent i think that just sounds wrong so i know it's just playing two arc like in rare occasion like these can like the second one can just get banished if i think the game's gonna end in the turn okay yeah and the thorn eyes for the instant fusion that yeah, pretty much the rest of link link Rebo, ip unicorn access uh it's just standard thing this for nova this is for my ending board and access code, just um, use it to kill people or clear the board. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, that's used in almost everything right now, so... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and this is the extra deck. Okay. Extra deck is pretty much pro uh, standard besides just the fiber wonder package. Yeah. The side deck is a little bit interesting. I have one Natasha. As I said, I barely even relying on the second effect. I only use it for the first effect. Um, in case I in case I will go to time, so the, oh, that's it. Yeah. And the special part about it, the side is I'm playing a Shadow package in my side. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, this is uh, something I end up choosing for going second in general because I, well, first of all, I choose Shadow Fusion because I want something that can deal with uh, from like the Tribrigate ending board. Standard Tribrigate ending board is like at least Apple Lose a Revolt. And there's not that many cards can single card handle that board. But the very few option being like missed and mine, but I don't really want to play mine because I still have to clear everything afterwards. And um, Shadow Fusion being the other one, like facing Apple Loser Revolt, I can just go Shadow Fusion, uh, fuse the two Shadow Summon App Cologne, yeah. use Dragon 1, target the Revolt, force it out. App clone target the Appaloosa to negate it permanently, then use Channing 3 Aerial Banish, whatever in the graveyard to chain block. And by just using that, this should off usual one card, um, force out the Revolt and negate the Appaloosa. And well, he, he's, he's sure I can, is welcome to banish the App clone, but now everything else is a life in my hand, so I can play. And even if I play like outside Tribal Gate, um, yeah. pretty much every single deck in the format besides the Mirror Match, can Shadow Fusion is good against the going second. Like against Silent Striker, resolving Shadow Fusion is, is, is pretty it's pretty good. Um so the like prank is might be a little bit iffy for the timing, but it still works. And also the funny thing about Constra is since I Constra require Shadow plus light, Shadow Fusion can either mill a Drytron that I need, or it can mill um Ava. Yeah. And Due to the fact Kongshu is actually surprising a fairy, I can go uh, activate Shadow Fusion, Mill Dragon, and Ava. Go Dragon target a back row. Yeah. Kongshu try to mill the aerial, then use Ava to banish the Kongshu on my board to search Diviner to my hand. Oh, nice. Yeah, because yeah, that's, that's also a fairy. Yeah. And um, during the process, it was like doing the doing the job as a as an MST, and at the same time, I get a Rota for whatever. Piece, combo piece I'm missing. Yeah. Since they can turn to both uh, Drytron and the Diviner based on what I need. Yeah. So I really I really like it, especially when we are going to this tournament not knowing what kind of uh, tournament like deck ratio going to be in the format. So I think I just want a better coverage. Yeah. And yeah, for the rest, like my side, it just should not, the only matchup that Shadow Fusion isn't really good against is like Mirror Mash. Because Drytron's ending board just don't even, like, you shut off, you're just not resolving. So I have three more Cycle Reader for the Mirror Match. And comboed with some back row removal, there's Twin Twister and Revolt. Ideally, I want to play Lightning Storm and the Feather Duster. Um, however, there's way too many anti-spells existing in the format, especially from both Tribrigate and Sala. Mm -hmm. And uh, occasionally, maybe even from, like, Prank Gets. So, uh, and it's like, I, after I got like anti spell so often, I just be like, I only play back or removal that can like 
play around, play into the entire spell. So down to the end, just three chewing and uh, a river. So that's pretty much it for the side. I think um, side is a little bit outside the standard, but I'm pretty happy about whatever I choose at the end. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay so that's a so that's your side. So we we saw your your main, your extra deck, and then your side. Um, yeah. If uh, would you make so deal with what you've uh, gone against? Would you have made like any kind of differences or you know anything different with your what you have right now like would you have um was there anything um, that would have benefited more you know um against like certain matches or you know yeah i think like the main deck the only thing i would change is probably just the third nova because i say because i keep drawing a pair of it and i kind of hate about it <laughs> so that's the probably the only thing extra and aside i think are pretty much just like how it is i don't think i would change anything yeah um yeah, also, I uh, forgot to say that. Uh, going second, I usually side out the size because why would I keep size going second, right? And because size is gone, Fiber and Wander has no purpose left in the deck. And at this point, I would just swap with the, the double Shadals okay. whenever I put in Shadal Fusion. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And I, I did want to ask you, so um, mm -hmm. were there any, like, special or, like, you know, favorite... Um, excuse me. I'm going to have to retake this. Um... <laughs> Uh, did you have any favorite text that you used um, during your your play? Favorite text is really just uh, Shadow Fusion. Like whenever I, I don't, I didn't win every single game after I Shadow Fusion, but the Shadow Fusion definitely uh, brought me back to the game a couple times. Okay. It, it, yeah, it did win me some of them, just not all of them. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, very awkwardly. Whenever I do draw this Shadow Fusion, thinking I would just auto win going second, yeah. my opponent usually just. Don't have a monster to summon. They just pass with backfills. That happened like three games after siding. Oh dang! And yeah, it was against like Striker happened twice, and um, Adding Mister happened once. Which is like, if they had a monster, because they didn't know I had Shadow Fusion at all. If they had a monster with the backfill, I would still be able to win because Shadow Fusion just got put me ahead of so so much. But they just didn't. <laughs> I would just be like, well, now, now this stuff is kind of awkward. Okay. But yeah, if my opponent is opening average, I, I should be fine yeah. with, uh, with my shit off here. Yeah, okay. Um, and I actually, uh, just one last question that I want to ask. Um, mm -hmm. So the, uh, the last game that you played, um, what, yeah. I, th I, be I believe you mentioned it a little bit um, in, in the ear uh, earlier this video. Mm -hmm. um, what, exactly what, what happened and... Um, you know, kind of in the final, the final round. Yeah, just explain, like you know, what what uh, and, uh, if there was anything. So like, yeah. yeah, so it was like a very so we were almost time. There's a very few minutes left. I yeah. actually had a variety of different plays, but I kind of get rushed a little bit, so um, couldn't really like stop and taking time to think because that will that will look like I'm stalling. So I didn't really think through. Um, I put a. Um, from long story short, I cleared the whole board with my Zeus after trading with my opponent. But then after, like, my initial plan was making a board after I cleared the board with Zeus. I got gamma that I just um, wasn't wasn't accounted for. But hypothetically, I didn't need to do, like, that kind of risky way. I could just set up the board regularly yeah. and actually made a better board and now make myself open to gamma and lose that way. So, or like maybe those those kind of plays just gonna, just gonna take even more time because I was on I was higher in life points. So it's also possible I just like burn enough time to waste my plays and and was winning by time. That's also possible. So just out of all the possible choice, I didn't have time to think. So I ended up choosing one route that made me lose to gamma, and it happened. So I lost. Yeah, yeah. that's pretty much it. I mean, hey, I, I mean, whenever I was playing, I, I knew exactly the moment I misplayed, and I'm just like, mm -hmm. you know, so I, I'm yeah. really bad at misplaying stuff, so at least... Yeah, I don't think it was misplayed. Yeah, I don't think I was misplayed that part, because uh, that play, if it goes through, I was still able to win. It just, I put a play that's, like, not optimal and uh, open myself to gamma. That's yeah, it. yeah, you just, you, you chose what you were going to, what mm -hmm. you wanted to do, and... Um, yeah, and unfortunately it wasn't, mm -hmm. you know. Um, okay, well, um, 
that's all the questions I have. And um, cool. is there anything that you might want to add um, for the? Uh, yeah, I would just have some shout outs, like shout out to um, um, all the friends who um, helped me. Uh, like the especially the size idea, I got it from my OCG friends. The Shinobi idea was like. Um, and one of my other friends, we uh, they tested at the very beginning of last format when Lightning Wolf Drive was out, and I just remembered it and uh, use it now. Like they didn't, they didn't choose it at the end, but I am just playing it and uh, they're well with it. So shout out to all the friends who supported me, and uh, that's pretty much it. Okay, cool. Well, well thank you so much for uh, showing us your deck and um, mm -hmm. talking about your your uh, your experience. And uh, mm -hmm. can't wait for. The real, uh, real tournaments in real life tournaments yeah. to start again. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, uh, thank you, and um, thank you. We'll uh, see you. See you later. <laughs> see ya. Bye.